back everyone to another episode of Austria. So guys, we are back here with another episode where I am dealing with some rebels. Like I have some rebels over here and I have some rebels down here in this island, which I'm actually gonna go deal with right now. So yeah, that's oh. Hey, no. No. Don't do that. Don't don't make me land on top of you. That's just that might actually kill my soldiers. Yeah, move. Ooh. Okay, yeah, that might actually kill my soul. So yeah, what we're basically going to do is we're basically going to go on a long hunting spree of all these plant coffee, if I remember correctly. We were we were going to become coffee planters, if I remember correctly. That's was what our farm was going to produce, is coffee. Yeah, coffee's still a very big market. Not in high demand, but it's in good... Okay, so coffee's not right now in high demand. Tobacco, though, is in high demand, but... It's not really much of a market. Is it because we entered the market? Hmm. Well, I've been saying right now do coffee for a while. Buying up stockpile. Well, why don't we just build up our own plants? Uh, we'll just build up coffee. Because coffee is still about the same as much as tobacco. And tobacco is usually a good crop. So you guys, just go hunt rebels in your own country. I'm going to have you guys go back to here and protect itself. I just go right here, protect itself, and we're just gonna... Our empire right now is great, and I love it. And a leader just died. That stinks. But we do have to get control of our country's difficulties with, I guess, leadership? Uh, so what we're going to do is, is we're casually just going to send some soldiers out to the colonies. Just to protect them. Just to protect them. And we're gonna go fight more... Get more of our country back under control. Because I feel like I don't want this to become a gigantic let's play where people just watch me all day try to fight rebels. So let's get our country underneath our control and start dealing with stuff. You guys get on here and you guys go over here. Yeah, go to Djibouti. Djibouti. One of the best named colonies ever. So, and then from there what we're basically going to be doing is planting more coffee. Cause I really want I really want to become the major coffee producers of the world once I become the major coffee producer of the world like how much are we producing uh, dang we aren't producing that much anytime anytime but once we become the major coffee producers of the world then I feel really good about myself apparently we're like taxing our people too much so let's just bring it down a little bit ooh bring it up a little bit bring it like to 41 there we go and then decrease our taxing in our middle class. There we go. I mean, we are, to be honest, we don't, I say this all the time, we do not tax our people that much. We tax them just enough so they know that the government is still there, but not enough to really cripple them, which is what I like about our country. Our country is so nice in that respect. Holy shoot, Russia, you guys have simulated a good alliance here. In Germany, you have absolutely no one that loves you. Would you like to be friends? Oh yeah, they apparently did go to war with France, so apparently I missed it. I missed the epic war with France, which kind of does stink. And it, it's an excellent idea, of course we'll join. Why would we not? Has Canada become a great power yet? No. Apparently, Netherlands somehow maintains their power against both Canada, Scandinavia, the Russians, and Switzerland. Oh, Switzerland, I hope you never become a great power again. Seriously, you guys stink. <laughs> Okay, so apparently France has a really good alliance here right now. They have allied with Russia. Russia is basically allied with two great powers, and we can't fight them. But we gotta start thinking about other Europeans that kind of kick around. Italy could be... Hmm. You know, in terms of great powers, we could probably go kick around. We could probably go kick around Italy. I mean, who really in the right mind would care if we go take down Italy? I mean, really. Who would really care? Let's go see, what's the highest population demographic? Mostly down here, so if we were to like split up the empire, yeah, we should totally release two Sicilies in the empire so that we can get them. And yes, a lot of people have been commenting about why did I not fight against the, why did I not fight against these guys forming? Well, it's because you basically can't stop them from forming. They will literally form no matter how hard you try, you try for them not to form, so there's basically no point. You basically just have to let them form, and then you can start ripping them to shreds. Tensions in Transylvania. Is Transylvania trying to become free? 
let's see. Crisis is wise. Russia's way ahead of me, so I don't have to worry about my crises forming first, which is good. I don't want my crises going first because my crises are annoying. Also, have apparently some factories that are really suffering right now. Explosive factories, well, I'm not really going to delete those because those actually provide good economic means. All right, we're done make basically making soldiers. We can start making artillery now. And poor Stratza, I really consciousness I could deal with. And for once, I think ah, oh, dang it, we still we're so close. I really want to enact a decision that basically makes us the Dubarian Federation. Wait, can I not enact that anymore? Wait, what can I enact that? Average militancy below 4.0. Hmm. That makes me wonder, do I accidentally have too much militancy? And look at this. Hmm. No, I could actually, in a, in a like my way, I could probably form Yugoslavia, but it would actually... Oh, excuse me. It'd actually break up my land, because then it'd like defeat it basically make Albania and all these guys a part well actually just these guys all part of a big giant empire and split up mine. So I'm not gonna do that decision. Oh wait, I'm making way too much. Decrease our taxes on the poor. I usually don't like to say that, but decrease our taxes on the poor! Because we don't want the poor to rise up and kill us! Which usually happens. That usually is not good. Okay. Germany, we can be buddies. I, I won't mind being buddies with you. Apparently, Netherlands also sphered. Let's see how the sphere is going. Allow annexation, allow prestige. Basically, this is how the spheres of the world have handed out. Uh, sh shoot. All right, so creation. The creation major minority. Minority. Sure, we could definitely become friends with the creation minority. The embrace of Slavonian minor minority. Sure. I'll embrace everyone. Does everyone want to become part of my empire? Because you guys would all help me if you guys were all accepted cultures. Polish my... Oh my goodness. Mass politics, behavioralism, and social alienation. I think that's all just... Mass politics, behavioralism... Yeah, I was about to say, it's just all that part. So it's not really that important. So let's get assembly line next. Assembly line. But yeah, we now just got like six more cultures accepted back at home. Which is really sweet. Which, I, there may be a chance we actually don't need to, like, form the Dubarian Federation. We could just maybe not have to do the really risky road and just kind of do it the nice, peaceful, and easy road. And just kind of, you know, do it peacefully. Oh, the life needs of the poor. Uh, but militancy. But the poor. But the militancy. But the poor. But the, screw it. <laughs> that goes first. Oh my goodness. So much taxes. I'm making so much money now. Okay. Okay. You know what? Middle class, you guys are going to love your life. Poor, you're not going to love your life that much. Uh, wealthy, you're going to kind of love your life. Oh, wait, wait. Keep it about a thousand. I want about a thousand. But, poor, but middle class, you guys are loving your life. Like, seriously, your life is great. And all farmers, sure, all farmers don't be mad at me. Los Rios, okay, Chile, there's a Chile crisis. <laughs> that sounded really bad. There's a Chile crisis, everyone. So what's exactly the crisis? They're fighting over Chile. Apparently, did some nation become free over here? No, the UK. What, what, what? Uh, what are you guys even fighting over? Uh, demands Potter. Okay, this involves the nations of Chile. Wait, what's that? I don't even know what this crisis is over here in South America going on. So I'm just gonna ignore it and just assume it's not there. By the way, since since now Argentina has basically recovered from being completely and utterly useless, let's finally start influencing them into being a part of our sphere, since we have basically no one else to influence for like the next couple of years, because, well, everyone else is basically my people anyway, so, yeah, let's just start up upgrading them. By the way, has America basically conquered all of this place? They have not conquered Cuba, Colombia yet, which I guess we could go to quick wars with Colombia, unless, oh, France, 
and America are both friendly with these guys. Okay. So yeah, probably not gonna do that. Oh yeah, Venezuela is in my sphere of influence. I completely forgot about them. Huh. It's been a while since I've seen you, Venezuela. How are you guys doing? I've kind of I've kind of kept you guys at a distance. I completely forgot we had you guys. How are you guys doing? I haven't really checked out your country. It looks good. It looks like I expected to look at least. I mean, I don't really know what I was expecting from you guys, but it looks good. And I guess we could help you upgrade a little bit. I mean, I, you probably don't have enough money yourself, so yeah, it's a good thing I do everything. And let's see about the rest of our vassals. Uh, you guys are Portugal. I've been upgrading you guys since you guys were born. So you guys should know my name. You guys should enact shrines to me, too. Uh, you, Spain, have been kind of a pain upgrade. It's like, you guys are good and then you're bad. You're good and then you're bad. You're good and then you're bad. Like, you cannot decide if you guys are really good coffee. You won't really good or really just bad or... Ah oh, man, you guys, are, you guys are annoying colony, let's just say that. The better way of putting this, you guys are an annoying colony. Alright. Um, and then like, all you Baltic areas, basically you guys should all be upgraded by now. But I've been a little bit too lazy to like, get to that, but I'll do it right now while we still got some... We have tons of money and I have tons of time and... Because I need you guys, I need you guys to be quick reactions when I have some kind of crisis pop up. I want you guys to be like, hoop a -dip. I, I don't know what to do when there's a crisis. It's not my job criteria to know what, a, what to do during a crisis. Alright, and Argentina's birth rate stables, yay! Argentina's already becoming vastly in my power, which is good. And, well, why not? And let's see, what about over here? Over here, I and then I guess we could probably put the Spanish... Uh, we could probably get the Spanish colonies too. I don't know why I just took two in from me for, but the Spanish colonies, we could probably also, like, help them control it better by putting some railroads, and I guess that's it. Whew. Yeah. Long live us. <laughs> oh, man. This is, this is like the peaceful era right now we're going through, but as soon as 1900s roll around, it's going to get crazy. Cause we're, cause great wars are gonna start happening, and we're gonna start seeing more and more of these things all around the world. And trust me, people, it gets intense. Intense. I mean, seriously, intense. Like, oh my goodness, did Ethiopia? You, you little, 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 little something. Ethiopia. My goodness, you guys. Did you guys really break away? Gosh dang it. Okay, go crush them. Go crush these guys. Apparently they want to be all like... They want to think... Why'd you do that, Ethiopia? You knew I was going to come after you. Oil! Oh, we found oil! Never mind, never mind. Be quiet. I'm going to be quiet now. Oh, we should probably go to war with some of these guys over here too, so we can get some oil mines and oil reserves. But I don't, well, actually, I don't really know why we would need it because we actually do have a decent amount of oil as it is. Like, seriously, we have, I think, the two best, <laughs> we have base. wow, we have basically all the oil. The best oil in the world is all owned by Austria. That is something to say in the history books right there. Okay. First, we have to go conquer back all this stuff, though. So we have to go deal with a lot of stuff. And we can actually, we can actually enact a reform. Sweet. All right. The first reform I'm going to enact is religious education. That way we can actually get more immigration attraction and we can get rid of this. Maybe we can help our citizens become more educated. Because we need education. Because our children are our future. Okay. And of course Ethiopia is going to be cleaned up pretty quickly because, well, yeah. I don't know why they were annexing or trying to be different. It was really kind of stupid. All right, go hunt down wherever, whoever you want. Conduct census. Conduct census. Yes, please do. I mean, the last time we conducted a census was a long time ago, and honestly, our empire was not like this. Our empire was less big and less powerful and less scary. I mean, yeah, please conduct a consensus. 
and I'm gonna see how much how much men do we have right here we have we're gonna have four cannons we need like four more f three more artillery okay so one two three three more artillery one one of these guys and then like four of these guys one two three oh wait wait oh yeah I better make sure they're not all in Africa because <laughs> that'd be really bad okay there we go yeah not in Africa sorry guys you're up one two three four five six there we go and that will complete the rest of that army uh Wow, wow, let's do that one. I don't really need to lose. Iron's not that important to, of a resource to me, considering I make so much of other stuff a day. I mean, we are rich, people. We are rich. You know, I don't think I really have to, you know, honestly, I don't think I need to do that decision anymore. I basically have most of the people I needed accepted, accepted. I mean, right now, the only people I wish I could get accepted is the Northern Italians, who have an insanely high percentage of my population. But other than that, I don't believe there's really much else. We have Czechoslovakians accepted. I mean, there's really not much else that really needs to be accepted. We have basically all we need to be accepted right now. Which is fine by me. We should outfit an expedition! Yes! Totally. I am totally hyper and totally willing to go through the money and the panic. Ooh. An excellent the Temperance League! It's... Oh gosh. Yay! Let's do it! Why not? I'll increase organized crime all around me. Liquor prohibition! Oh gosh. <laughs> oh gosh, this is going to be. Should okay, so let's see. What does it give me? Yes, I know. I can be I can do Tax efficiency goes down, but factory output goes up. Um uh, Prohibition. Liquor prohibition. Hmm. Do I want to do that? <laughs> uh, sure. Why not? Let's become a Temperance League person. And let's see. Holy shoot, that may have almost crushed my economy. Wow. Uh, wow. Oh, shoot. Okay. Taxing, taxing, taxing. Taxing the middle class, because that's what we do when we need to get out of crisis. Okay, yeah. There we go. So, yeah, we just taxed, we just taxed, the. Uh, uh, drinking and now people are really feeling it <laughs> okay but I think I'm I'm supporting you guys way too much like I'm giving my factories way too much subsidiz subsidizing oh wait no didn't mean to do that yeah go right there I meant to do this okay let all the factories crumble that need to crumble because right now I have about 10.8 million bucks so that's good. And look, I'm making like 12k. So basically, whatever factories do not form or do crumble, I'm just going to delete. Because at this point, I, I I was supporting way too much subsidies. I mean, I don't I don't mind supporting subsidies, people, but that's just way too much subsidies. There's, a, there's like a limit of subsidies you should do for a nation. That I think I reached. Okay. Okay, I'm going to reach an understanding of that. Okay. And now since I have a free moment, let's see, do I want to conquer Yemen, Oman, or Halai? Or one of these little, dang it. Still, they control it, the British still control it, and Canada never became a great power. Oh, gosh, Canada, you're disappointing me right now! Become a great power already, so we can become bros. And be like hanging out in the big leagues. And then you guys increase my opinion. And yeah, we're going to become friends. Colonial privacy debated. Conservative arguments will prevail. Of course they will. What arguments would I do? Okay, who? Wait, wait. How much do I want to bet this is against the colonial instance against the UK and I have absolutely no reason to use it? The colonial instance against France. Do I absolutely have no reason to use it? No, I could actually use this. Okay. Uh, I'm recording right now. So... Let's see. Could I use this against France? Hmm. Well, I could probably probably use it to go take like one of these regions over here. That would be really, you know, connecting this side and this side. So yeah, I guess I could use it. The only thing is, will I use it? 
Because, I mean, I wish, kind of wish Russia right now was a great power so that we could, ah, I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.